Hello you guys. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today I have an Old Navy haul. I haven't done an Old Navy haul in I feel like a while and I wanted to check out some new stuff. I feel like their site is kind of hard to shop on. I'm not gonna lie, there's just so much not so great stuff. I don't know. And they, they, we have like painters out painting all of our like balconies. So I'm sure these two lovely painters are like, what is this girl doing? We're gonna roll with it. But anyway, um, I say that because I may be slightly distracted by them. They're singing and laughing and having a good old time out there. But we found some good stuff. We found some not so great stuff. Um, one of my favorite pairs of like distressed denim is from Old Navy. So I was on the hunt. So I tried out a couple more bottoms we'll get into it but let's start I wanted some warm cozies for this season you guys know I moved to the Midwest last summer and I'm still building my cold weather wardrobe and we had a really mild weather winter last year so we'll see what this year brings I hear it's supposed to be another mild one but I don't want that but we're here for it let's dive in and let me show you the pieces that I got everything will be linked down below as well as the sizes that I chose as well as my general measurements for me personally, I like to size up in things and get them big and chunky. So first thing is this little kind of zip up, quarter zip up tunic type thing. Um, very kind of similar to the scuba from Lululemon, but longer lined is what I was hoping. This is so thin, you guys, but I honestly don't mind that. I think it's perfect for the fall season. I mean, I know we're headed into winter, but sometimes you don't want like a thick, chunky sweater layered underneath like a jacket or something like that. You just want something thin for a little extra warmth. It is fleece lined and it's soft, but it is, like I said, very thin. Not like too thin, but thin. I kind of liked this color. It was very different, very like a taupey, rosy sort of color. Um, I own nothing like this. I did get this in a medium. I wanted it oversized so I could wear with leggings. Um, I think it's cute with some chunky socks, chunky dad sneakers. That's kind of how I, envision it I envisioned it as throw it over for Pilates or the gym when I just didn't want something cropped you know what I mean because I wear my scuba one in the winter and stuff like that but it doesn't cover the bum and I am somebody who believes if my bum is covered I am 20 degrees warmer I don't know call it crazy but I think it's true so I think I'm gonna keep this guy I got this in a medium let me know your thoughts they do have other colors as well but I think I own nothing like this it's neutral it will go with whatever workout wear I wear where, 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 <laughs> but yeah, I think this is a win for me. Um, like I said, I did size up, but I like the length on that a lot. I do like to like give it a tuck front. That's just apparently the millennial in me. Okay, these you guys surprised the heck out of me. These are their high rise OG loose false faux, 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 why can I not talk today? Faux leather pants in brown chocolate brown which is oh my god this would look so good with this sweater um I never liked leather pants I think because I don't know I tried like three different styles from Abercrombie and I just never liked them they were either too tight or too loose or whatever the case may be I did get a pair from cup she that I do like they're black and they're more of a cropped fit so they're more of like a casual same thing with these I would wear these pretty casually the length is like kind of sus on me where I wish it was just a little bit longer because I can really only wear it with high top sneakers like my converse let me know I tried it out with the white or the black I ended up going black I think I liked the black ones better but let me know what your thoughts are I feel like the white would be okay for like a daytime look but is black and brown weird I don't think it is but these fit like a freaking glove like I was like I don't even know how I can give these back these are beautiful and they are lined with like a very soft like it feels like real leather um no weird smell I know that's a big thing with fake leather but these are literally stunning I I don't know I wasn't planning on loving these nearly as much as I do and now I'm like I need to create a bunch of different outfits around these because these are stunning and I need to 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 convince myself that I need to keep these because they literally fit amazingly. I I love these, you guys. Chocolate brown pants. They also have black, I'm pretty sure. But that chocolate brown, stunning. Like I'm, I'm, I was blown away. 
The next pair of pants I was also freaking blown away by, but I need to wash these and see because you see how the little like I removed the sticker and it kind of left like a mark. I'm hoping that goes away when I wash it because if it doesn't, I'm not going to be happy and I'm going to return them. Um, so I need to remove everything and see. Uh, these are awesome. These are their sky high wide leg jeans. The ultra high rise sky high leg whatever wide leg those are my other one I mean they're not the wide leg but they're the secret smoothing pockets ultra high rise whatever those are the jean type that I really like they just hug my waist perfectly and kind of boat these are just everything they really cinch into the waist and don't hug the hips so because you know how like if jeans hug the hips you can kind of see your hip dips and I just feel like that's not sometimes the most flattering thing in jeans these don't do this. These are 100% raw, rigid denim. These are like a black wash, which I have a pair that are similar to this. So I'm like, do I need them? No. But is the fit iconic? Yes. So I'm going to wash this and see if this thing comes out. And then I'm also going to see if they have just a blue denim because these are literally everything. And my other black wash jeans like that are just like a straight leg, not a wide leg. So I'm like, oh, I know. Those are perfection. I can wear them with heels. I could wear them with high tops. I could wear them with regular sneakers, anything. They're so cute. Okay, this is the sweater that, that really started this whole haul. I bought this a while ago. I placed this just regular order. Um, and I placed, what else did I place with it? Maybe this was it? I don't know. Um, no, I also decided to grab a quilted jacket, which didn't work out. But Everybody was raving about these sweaters, and I've had these in the past. These are just like little front button cardigans. You guys know I love a full button cardigan moment. I just think they're super versatile, especially like with a white tee, whatever. And this sparked the whole thing. This is really good. This is good. I will say that it pills really easily, so get yourself a fabric shaver. It's not like the highest, highest quality. I want to say that Banana, or not Banana Republic, J. Crew probably Banana Republic as well, have sweaters similar to this. I just will say that the quality is not like the highest, but it's Old Navy and they're 30 bucks. So super cute. Love that you can get on trend with this pop of red, but they have a bunch of other colors. Speaking of this white shirt, I also got this from Old Navy. Um, I can't be stopped with white shirts. There's just, I don't know. There's something about this one. I really like it. It's very, very oversized, but tucked in looks so cute and just loose looks so cute. I could wear it with sweatpants, I could wear it with jeans. It's staying in my closet. I now own like 10 white shirts, but you know what? I wear so many white shirts that I've come to the conclusion that it's okay. It's okay. So, sue me if you will, but I freaking love a good white shirt. And I'm always looking for new ones. And this one is a keeper because I feel like let out with the little slits on the side can be very like athleisure and then tucked in looks like, girl, that shirt's way higher quality than like, I paid maybe $10 for it. So this will be my Christmas sweater. I stink and love this. Again, front button Cardi, so cute. I know this is like, okay girl, you're gonna wear this like maybe twice this year, um, but it will be forever. I live in my closet. It's such a timeless classic red Christmas sweater and I don't own anything like this and I'm kind of here for it. So I'm keeping this, I love this. They have a lot of Christmassy type sweaters. Um, I don't know. It kind of gives me Abercrombie vibes, like old school Abercrombie vibes. But it's from Old Navy and I stink and love it. These unfortunately were a total fail. These are the exact, no these aren't the exact. These are similar to the other ones that I have. Again, the secret slimming pockets, high rise. These are the slouchy straights though. These just hit me way too short of my ankle. These were just way too cropped in my opinion. And I also don't love this dark I don't know why I didn't notice that when I was picking these out, but these are rigid denim and I liked that and I liked the distressed hemming at the bottom or distressed um, pant leg. But yeah, these are a no-go for me, unfortunately. Maybe if you're shorter, then those would work. Um, but yeah. Okay, another pair of jeans I'm on the fence about and I'm gonna need y'all's sound off. I really love the leg on these a lot. So these are a mid-rise The Wow Boyfriend. So these are technically an ankle, but the cuff, how they come is like this and that hits you at the ankle, right? Which is so cute. I love this, but you can also unroll them and they kind of, they're like a slimmer straight leg. They almost slightly taper. I think they're so cute with ballet flats. Like they give the perfect like fit for a ballet flat. I think personally, 
Um, but they're mid-rise. And I'm like, mm, on the fence with mid-rise. I'm trying to get on the mid-rise trend because I will never be on the low-rise trend. But I also don't want to be on the high-rise trend forever. Or like, that's not even a trend anymore. That's just like the way of life. Um, these are two. I would say they fit good, but the back is slightly gapey. And these are a stretchy denim. I thought I had gotten all rigid denim. But I, apparently that's not the case. So what is the makeup of this? It feels just way more elastic. Mm. It's, yeah, it's only got 1% elastane, but it has 13% polyester, so that must be the stretch in it, too, because 1% elastane shouldn't make these jeans this freaking stretchy. So, I was hoping they'd be more raw denim, so that's kind of my hesitation with them. Um, and then the gape a little bit in the booty area, but besides that, they fit perfectly. And I really like the wash of these, and I really like the versatility of cuffing versus uncuffing um, that I didn't even know would be an option, because a lot of people, when they sell cuff jeans, like, they're stitched that way. So these are not. So I liked that. And I honestly don't mind that they're mid-rise. They're hecka comfortable. Like, so comfy. Um, all right, let's keep going. I got a couple more items. This little sweater. I have a lot of sweaters. I've been adding a lot of sweaters in my wardrobe. But I don't have a lot of, like green sweaters. I have like a bright green sweater and like a very muted sagey green, but this like I feel like it's almost chartreuse. It's not. I don't know. I don't know if they still have this color. It's like a mustardy browny green woven in with some white. But I really like this. This is kind of itchy though. Not itchy itchy, but I will say the makeup is it's made with recycled material. Ooh, love that for us. But yeah, polyester and nylon. This thing would start, would just melt <laughs> into your body if you were stuck in a fire. So do not recommend that. But I do like the color a lot and I like the fit of this. I just don't know if I can get by the like, it's not itchy, it's just scratchy, I guess I would say. But I still love the color. Now this color is stunning. I love this like very deep green with the white woven in. Beautiful. And I feel like the um, the wovenness is so much bigger. This is much thinner, whereas this is a bit thicker and more tightly packed. And I like the weaving on this so much better. This is so oversized. I would have gone with a small, honestly, instead of a medium, um, because it's very, very oversized. But I used my little, like, my little elastic trick and tucked it up in there, and I thought it was super cute, especially with those chocolate, like, um, chocolate brown leather pants. So cute. And I love this freaking color. And I don't know why I don't own something in a dark olive green because it's one of my favorite colors. Last but not least, I grabbed a coat. I don't know. I'm trying to expand my coat wardrobe, but it's really hard because it's so expensive to buy coats. And um, I've I've had some decent luck with Old Navy in the past. This one was pretty affordable, but it's not lines at all. Like this thing is gonna just not be that warm so it's like I either have to commit to it just being a fashion coat or invest in like a, a fashion warm coat the the thing that I really draw the line with and how, why I'm teetering it is because if I'm gonna be in cold cold I'm not wearing a jacket like this I don't I don't care about that I'm gonna go for my warm winter jacket right fashion aside now if I'm gonna be like going walking from my car to dinner or something I, this this will do the trick. This will be fine. So it's like, should I? That's what I would wear this for, anyways. This isn't like going to be my everyday coat, by any means. So I don't know. I think it's really nice. I love this dark chocolate brown, and it looks nice from the outside for sure. It's very like basic inside. It's not lined or anything like that, which is why it's more of like a sweater cardigan, coat again than an actual coat. But I don't know. I'm still really on the fence of whether I'm going to keep it or not because I think that honestly it would do the trick. It's just 100% polyester. Um, I think it would give me the look that I want and honestly I'm not wearing it for like a warm winter jacket like to keep myself warm through like a commute or something like that. Um, so yeah that's it. That's everything that I got from Old Navy. Do not shop their stuff full price. I think I got all of this 50% off, maybe 50% off, and then it was 30% off extra in the car. I don't know. They are always running crazy sales. Um, and I found some really cute stuff. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Sound off. First of all, I need you to sound off the black shoes or the white shoes on those leather pants or what other shoe options you would think because they're too cropped to wear with like a low tennis shoe. I was going to wear them with like my red gazelles, but they were just too 
too cropped for that. They just didn't hit at the right spot to wear like a low tenny. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you found this video helpful. All the links, like I said, will be in the description box down below. If there's any other brands that you want to see me kind of put together outfits with, let me know. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video real, real soon.